Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Will. Uh, just gonna give you a quick update what's going down. Uh, got a gig log tonight, so I'm gonna be sure to post that. I'll update you guys all on what's going on with AZ Pro DJ Zen. But I got something better right now. I have a new toy to show you. If you've been watching the gig logs, uh, you know what I've been asking for. What I've been telling myself I should order a thousand million times. I ordered it, I think, last week and finally came in today. Uh, it's called the vacuum mount. Right here is basically a mount that I can use to basically mount my video camera onto any non-porous smooth surface. Glass, metal, uh, smooth wood. I mean, pretty much anything that's non-porous and smooth. So, I mean, sky's the limit. I'm going to be using it to mount in my dash uh, on, in my, inside my car. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to show you some basic things about it. And then I'll take you inside the car and show you how to mount it inside. How about that? So here's the unit. Came in a nice box. Uh, it's called the vacuum mount. Uh, the model itself is called a cleat. It's the lowest um, model. Uh, it's only 50 bucks, which isn't bad at all if you think about uh, how awesome it is once I show you all the features. Uh, it holds up to 20 pounds, which most cameras weigh less than 10 pounds. So you should be fine unless you're using a professional grade camera. And if you're using a professional grade camera, there's even higher end models which you can check out. But uh, I don't know if uh, most of us who are doing these video logs don't really use those much professional cameras. If you do video logs like I do, or you just want a cool toy to mess around with it when you're in the car, or you even want to do video logs with me, I recommend you get one of these. Brian S. Red, uh, Big Dog. Uh, I can bet what we most of us do is we take our camera, we set it on top of the dash, and then uh, we hit record. I mean, sometimes it flip flops and slides all around, but you know what? You prevent that with this. And when it's sliding around, it's really dangerous because then you're not focusing on the road, right? And that's what pretty much we're supposed to be doing in the first place, not talking on your cameras. Uh, so here's the model. Uh, pretty much you mount this on here, and it's kind of like a suction cup, but it's a little bit more. I'll show you why it's better than a suction cup in a second. Uh, it's got your little uh, screw thing, which uh, basically that's how you mount your camera onto. If you've ever used a tripod, it's very similar, except for the fact that uh, there's no like real turning thing. You have to spin the camera around and then lock it in, which I'll show you in a little bit. <laughs> so, I mean, it's really awesome. For 50 bucks, I mean, you're going to be co not compromising your safety or anything like that. So it's really cool. You can do all these kind of things. You can uh, loosen this up and you can move the ball of the head around. So it basically can do that. And, uh, and then you can uh, tighten this one and then it spins around as well so you can do all kinds of things with this uh, pretty much sky's the limit with uh, how you want to vary it but I'm going to show you how it really works right now so we're going to bring this over right now I'm in front of my uh, window which looks out into my front yard uh, you can see my car down there it started raining so I'm not going to go outside for a little while so I just don't have to worry about raining because I uh, don't want to have to turn the air conditioning on or anything like that So. Here's a vacuum out. Most uh, suction cups, when you think about it, you push it in and uh, it works. You can hear my windows kind of cracking a little bit. And you put it in, it would stick. You could technically do that if you, had, if you push hard enough, but you know what? It wouldn't hold that much. So I'm going to move this little, my camera holder right here. Hopefully it stays. All right. So what you're going to do is you, sti you stick it on here. And if you see right here, this little kind of plunger button thing sticking out, you can see a red line right here. That's your indicator. Basically, it tells you how suctioned you are, how, how much it's uh, sticking, pretty much. So, and once you got your smooth surface, what you're going to do is you stick it on here and make sure it's, you're not like you're, you're touching the actual surface and then you just pump. So, it's, that's why I call it vacuum. It's sucking out the air and it's making it pump. And as you can see, as I pump, slowly that red indicator is going to go, disappear. That basically means once it's gone, that it is fully stuck on there. Uh, I want to. Sh I would like to show you how uh, well this works. But if I pulled hard enough, I could probably rip out the actual glass of the window. This thing, I tested it out on top my car hood, and I tried moving it, and it shook my car. This thing will not come off unless you do the procedure, which I'll show you how to do a little bit. So once that red indicator is in there, that means that you're all suctioned up. If you ever see at a time where the red indicator starts to come out like that, uh, basically means you're starting to lose it. I'll show you real quick. See how the red indicator came out? 
That means you're losing suction, so just pump it back up and you're good to go. I haven't had time to test it really, but it doesn't seem like uh, it really loses that much suction unless uh, you try to take it off. So once you got it on, you can move it around. Uh, so uh, you can go basically infinite possibilities with this thing. It's really awesome. So let me grab another camera and uh, sh my other camera and show you how to mount your camera to it. Okay, so you got your, your I got my old camera right here. I've done a few video logs on it. Uh, it's a little bit heavier than the model I'm using to record right now, but it still works perfectly fine. This thing weighs less than 10 pounds. It weighs probably four pounds at max. So what you're gonna do is it's just like a tripod. You see the little screw thing? What you're gonna do is you're gonna, there's a little hole on the bottom of your camera that you would use for a tripod. This is basically a tripod. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stick the, the, that hole onto into that screw looking thing and spin the camera around like so and basically you're screwing on your camera onto the tripod and once you get it, it should be good spin it around a couple of times then what you want to do is let me see if I can show you this oh, what you want to do is you want to tighten this right here this little thing I don't know if you guys can see it very well uh, that's probably a little bit better right uh, and then you're going to tighten that and now you got your camera completely secured on you can move it around, do it however you want. Uh, there's a, there, there's pretty much like infinite possibilities. So you could attach this to a car and do crazy like side views. Like imagine this is on the side of your car. You could go, uh, <laughs> like you can do a shot like upside down, doing all kinds of stuff. So I mean, it's more than just something to attach your camera to. It's a way to show like and control a specific angle. So once you get that locked on there, you're pretty much set to go. Uh, I will, so once you get that done, I recommend that when you mount this, that you first put the vacuum mount on, and then you mount your camera. So when you want to unmount it, you just unscrew your camera. And then it's really simple. There's no like unplugging or like, and you don't have to pull very hard at all. There's these little tabs up here. I don't know if you guys see them, they're kind of little bumps. Basically, you just push down on that, and that's going to lift up the side of the vacuum and let the air out, and basically comes free. See how the plunger came out? That means that you lost suction. Comes right off. I don't think you guys, if you guys can see that, but it didn't leave anything at all. It, uh, it's great, because you can use it on glass, on anything, and you know what? It's not, it's not something sticky, as, so you could basically use it on and leave no residue at all. So... Uh, I'm going to take you guys out to the car right now and uh, show you guys how to mount it inside your car. Alright, so I just want to prove to you guys how strong this uh, suction is on this thing. So, we got it securely up here. We got, uh, I can't, sh I'll, I guess I'll, show, I'll suction it up again. I will show you that, that it is, the red line is visible. I mean, not visible, so, but here you go. I'm just gonna be grabbing it and trying to tug it off as hard as I can. Most suction cups, if you think about it, would come off if I try this. And I don't know if you see that, but I am shaking the car right now. It is attached to the car. I can't get it off, but if you just touch this tab right here, the suction comes off, comes right off. So there you go, that's proof that this thing really is worth the 50 bucks. Cleat vacuum mount uh, for all you guys who are doing gig logs in your cars. Be sure to check it out. Practice and enjoy. Your first, azpro djs.com.